Well, stocks are on a roll. Another triple-digit gain today for the Dow Blue Chips, and the S&P 500 and the Dow Transportation Index all rose to fresh all-time highs. And the Nasdaq closed at its highest level in more than 13 years. It looks like stocks have shaken off the stumbling start to the new year. They got a big lift this morning from Bank of America earnings. The bank's profits shot up eightfold from a year ago. Also helping, a big surprise boost in manufacturing and a World Bank forecast calling for a stronger growth outlook, not only for the U.S., but the global economy as well. On Wall Street today, the Dow jumped 108 points, the Nasdaq was up 31, and the S&P added 9 points. John Manley joins us now. He's chief equity strategist at Wells Fargo Funds Management. So, John, is this really a turnaround? And if so, what happened? Why the change in sentiment? I think it is a turnaround. I'm not sure it went down all that much when you consider, but I think what's happening is we're starting to get information. We're starting to get data on what's been going on, and the profit numbers are good, and I think that's going to be a theme throughout most of the year. So, you know, we've been hearing from many market strategists this year saying that fundamentals really count this year. So we got some good earnings news these past few days. If we continue to get good earnings news and some good economic news, what does that mean in terms of the outlook for the stock market this year? It should be positive. I think the Federal Reserve is pretty much committed to not tightening for a while. They want to make absolutely sure the economy is coming back. They want a higher burden of proof than the, the market's going to require. I think that stocks will do well under that scenario, very, very well. What do you mean by very well? Well, we, we, we've had a target of 2,000 on the S&P for over a year and a half. And we're really close to that number right now. And I think I was going to, that's a very good point, but I think that's an easy target. I mean, I think it's a number that was meant to be raised when we put it in place, and we may very well raise it as it goes on. You have very, very very modest assumptions to get you there, and I think that we could probably exceed them. Uh, one of the things you have to think about when you get when you look at a market going into the new year, if you get the sign right, if it's plus or minus, let the actual numbers work themselves out. I think the fact is that people should be buying stocks because there's profits to be made this year. Well, this is a complicated and confusing time for many investors coming off of a fabulous uh, 2013. What kinds of do's and don'ts should investors do <laughs> with their portfolio and with their money? Well, yeah, it's always, I think the proper thing is to ask yourself the right questions. And I think the first question is, do I own enough stocks? Do I own enough stock? Do I own enough exposure to the stock market to take care of myself and my family over a period of time? I think stocks are ultimately going to outperform. I think they may outperform this year. And then you have to ask yourself, is what's holding me back? What, what am I scared of? And is everyone else scared of that? Are these things that are already in the marketplace? And I think you, you can't look back. You have to look forward. And you have to accept what's on your plate. And I think what's on the plate is still very appetizing. All right. And so in terms of more specific strategies, I mean, what kinds of stocks are we talking about? Big stocks, small stocks, U.S. stocks, non-U.S. stocks? Well, I, I don't dislike any of them, but I think large stocks are still a pretty good place for indiv individual investors to go. They're familiar names. We're more likely to buy into those things than trying to go down the road and look at smaller stocks. Uh, I think the U.S. is a great place to be. I actually think, on, in some respects, Europe may be better at the margin. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a cheaper market, but it's been cheap for a reason. That reason is going away. I think the European economy is beginning to recover after having been in a real slump for a while. I think they have some control over their destiny. I think we, we can see everything you mentioned do well, but I'd probably favor big. And if I had to choose between the two, which I really wouldn't, I think Europe may outperform the U.S. All right. So, and why do you say that? Why do you say I, I just think at the margin, the change in Europe could be greater. I mean, it's obviously when you go offshore, you're not as familiar and maybe, you know, you need to get some assistance as far as picking the stocks and picking the areas. But I do think Europe is turning. It was a rather quaint recession in the sense it was old fashioned. They chose to have it. And I think they've chosen not to have it anymore. Regardless, I think Europe coming out of its funk. All right. John, thanks a lot. Great information. Thanks, Susie. John Manley of Wells Fargo Funds Management.